I almost wanted to get his autograph. I'm going to say, <laughs> think overall, it was just a great success. So yeah. great. 55 and still pulling yep. nails. All right, good for him. All right, uh, let's go ahead and look outside. And of course, today, beautiful weather for the X Games. And overhead, that's the tropical clouds associated with the monsoon. No real big threat or harm to anyone, just something to always keep an eye on. And of course, uh, this time of year is when we can get thunderstorms, uh, very rarely, but we can from the monsoon. Again, all advisories and warnings right now have cleared, which is good news. We hope maybe even for our friends off to our northeast in the southern central valley, San Joaquin Valley, that they lose theirs tonight at 11. But there's a lot of indications that uh, if not right away, we will definitely see those heat advisories and warnings kind of staying in the foreseeable future. There's the fog tracker not really showing much. Uh, the white clouds you see there, that's more the speckles of uh, the monsoon still cruising over the region. And today's temperatures, uh, really a beautiful day. And inland areas, look at this. We didn't have too many triple digits. We actually got a bit of a break today, uh, just kind of the ebb and flow of this heat wave. And so 93 for Paso Robles, a nice drop from where it was yesterday. Currently seeing 86 in Paso Robles, 70s for Santa Maria and Lompoc. And then as you head down along the coastline of the Santa Barbara coast, we go from Gaviota, 68 to 75 in Santa Barbara, and then a 72 in Oxnard. Beautiful conditions, warm inland, but not overly hot in the wind. This might be more of a story in a few days when we see a stronger northwest wind. Right now, it's fairly quiet, breezy conditions up to maybe 20 miles an hour. Humidity values recovering along the beaches like we expect. So we again will look for the marine layer and of course an area of the of the country. Uh, actually most of the country would love a little marine layer action and uh, this heat we see right now and if I click the button you see a lot of those numbers pumping up with humidity uh, expected to, ex to expand. So the heat wave that we've been hearing about a lot on a national and an international level uh, for the United States more people are going to be affected by heat as we go over the next few days. So the wave, the heat wave is not looking to end. It's actually looking to expand. Now, the good news for us is as the high pressure system that is responsible for that as it expands and moves east, it might open the door just enough to allow the uh, Pacific storm system you see over my shoulder right here, allow that to sort of sneak in and push in a stronger northwest flow and maybe bring some more cooling to the region. But we're not really seeing any big swings right now and of course always keeping an eye on the monsoon moisture uh, over the next several days so there it is really lighting up a lot of areas with a lot of green right there looking rather impressive that's the system right there that's expected to sort of nudge the high just a bit will likely kick up some uh, wind swell out in the ocean so good news for surfers as it's been kind of flat but for the most part really we don't see big big changes coming anytime soon marine layer will hold along the coastline very hot inland still but the excessive heat has at least dropped off officially uh, as we go into tonight and tomorrow, even though we do expect to continue to see at least a few triple digits over the, uh, the next several uh, days, maybe even the next couple of weeks. Uh, there's the future cast. There's the, uh, the marine layer trying to work its way in as well. Uh, future cast does not really show much in the way of any threats for monsoon moisture, but there's always a chance. It's, a, it's a, kind of a hard thing to deal with because we're not used to it. The computers don't run those algorithms a lot. So when monsoon sneaks in, it can sometimes keep us uh, on our toes for sure. Patchy fog along the coast tomorrow. And then as we head into uh, early Monday, same story there, I should say. And then early, uh, early um, Tuesday, same story again with uh, patchy clouds right along the immediate coastal plains. All right, let's go ahead and look at our overnight and uh, morning lows into those afternoon highs. Another beautiful day, as you can see, everybody into the 60s and 70s, more 70s than 60s for the beaches, inland areas, 80s, 90s. A couple of triple digits are definitely expected. Uh, 101 on the Paso Robles, uh, high 101 goes right through there, so that's kind of an apropos um, temperature. 95 for Atascadero, 69 very mild degrees for Pismo Beach. And then as we head into Ventura County, same story there where we see El Rio at about 75, Port Wainimi 73, go up to 33 to Ojai, about 95 degrees. And surf, unfortunately, continues to be pretty abysmal, but there is a hint that that storm system to our north will push in some wind swell at least by about Thursday or so. So that's good news. We can get busy again and there it is some wind possibly on Wednesday and really nice mild temperatures all week long patchy fog here and there possibly lessening a bit as we head toward next weekend and again inland areas will try to bring you down over the next few days but it will still stay pretty toasty inland stay tuned we'll be right back